hi friends i am back with my another tutorial wherein i would be sharing with you the steps which needs to be followed so as to contribute a plugin to xrm toolbox so as we all know that xrm toolbox is an open source plat platform wherein an individual can contribute with a plugin which can ease up the task or the ways in which a step has to be undertaken in the application like the way I recently contributed a plugin to this community wherein I covered the steps in which us an individual can compare two environments with respect to their solutions. So first of all, for performing this activity of contributing the plugin to the application, you need to have a set of softwares available with you. So the recommended version of .NET is 4.6 and the software which is needed is Visual Studio 2017. Now once the software is available with you, we need to go to the Visual Studio and download this template which has been contributed by the developers which is XRM Toolbox Plugin Project Template. This template will help us so as to develop a plugin with a base core classes. Let's switch it to the Visual Studio. So now I am over my Visual Studio. I need to click my new new project. Over this project, I would be selecting the XRM Toolbox template and I would be selecting naming it the temp plugin as per my need and the requirement. Let's say sample plugin for YouTube. I need to select the repository depending upon the my need and requirement. I say select. So now my base project has been has been created by the application that is Visual Studio. So now you can see that the code has been created for this sample project using the template which we have downloaded through the XRM toolbox template. So we have covered this step wherein we have tried creating a project. Post creation of the project we have created a sample plugin. Now this sample plugin can be divided in two parts. One is the design mode or this mode towards your left hand side and another another is your on your right hand side wherein we have, can see the file hierarchy structure so this my plugin base is my plug uh, so this my plugin class file is my base class wherein i need to mention the name of my plugin the description of it the image the background color the primary font color and the secondary font color for this particular plugin just for the tutorial I'm mentioning it as YouTube sample plugin and I'm and I'm adding the description as a description this control is we build this solution so this build has been created let's move into this file structure the directory the bin the debug folder the plugin and you can see a dll and a pdb file over here so let's copy this dll file and once we have copied this dll file so as to run this plug dll file we need to place this dll file we need to place this file in our plugin storage folder that is XRM toolbox storage folder so that whenever the XRM toolbox folder would be opening up this plugin would be loaded in there and wherein the user can perform the required task as per the need on the requirement. So let's move on to our XRM toolbox. So as an individual you need to go to your configurations the settings in the settings go to the path and open the XRM storage folder in the XRM storage folder you would see a folder is plugins just open it and just paste your plugin which we have built so our plugin is sample plugin underscore YouTube let's save it let's close this part let's click OK let's go to the tools our tool was name was YouTube Y O U. so if you can see my YouTube video tutorial is over here with video, video tutorial as my description I have not mentioned the name of the author and the image so this is my tool which we have created in the Visual Studio the moment we click on it it will give a default pop-up so as to connect to the organization because this is been covered in your template which is part of this 
project so let's say connect yes i connect to this migration copy connect and this will load my plugin which i have recently created or built in my visual studio so that's all friends in this tutorial we have seen how to download the template how to create a project in Visual Studio, how to build the same and how to execute your default plugin which you have created in Visual Studio in the XRM toolbox. So thanks friends, have a great day.